Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to Niantic Community Church, where no matter who you are and no matter where you are on your life's journey, you're welcome here. And welcome to NCC, where community is our middle name. Um, it's so good, be to, good to be with you, and it's good to be with those on Zoom this morning. It's a little bit of a, of a um, cloudy day today, but there's going to be a lot of love in this building. Amen. 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 I just have a couple of announcements and I'm gonna start with Christmas Eve and this is um, interactive <laughs> because we did make a change because of the new variant. Everyone say, dear Lord, another variant. <laughs> dear Lord, another variant. I know, I know, I know. Um, but we are going to institute just uh, some practices that will keep us extra safe this season. On Christmas Eve, we have two services now, one at five and one at seven. The one at five is not our traditional children's program. It is exactly identical to the seven o'clock. So I would like you to turn to person who's near you or with you to say five and seven o'clock on Christmas Eve, exactly the same. Please do so. If you're in the sanctuary, you can do that. If you're at home, it's Zoom. Five and seven, exactly the same. You can tell your dog if you want to. <laughs> It's a change and we're trying the best we can to keep up with the news, which is sobering. Can I hear an amen? Amen. So today, if you're in the sanctuary, uh, we're going to do a little elbow bump. This is a call back to 2020. Um, but instead of shaking hands when we pass the peace of Christ, we'll just do a little elbow bump, okay? I want everyone to be safe. We made it thus far. Um, I count myself uh, fortunate that we haven't had anyone in our immediate NCC community who has died from COVID. I think that's a miracle, and I want to see that continue. So um, anyway, that's your sober note for this morning. It's going to be great worship. Um, we have a blood drive coming up on Tuesday. Of course, blood is needed at all times, but especially now. Uh, you're welcome to donate and you're also welcome to volunteer. We've got some slots left for that. Um, we've got a, a gospel, adult qu gospel choir that's starting up on Tuesdays at 615, uh, meeting in the sanctuary, being safe while they sing. Um, any other announcements for the good of the whole today that I missed? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Uh, we're going to have a great uh, worship service. The children's pageant uh, is happening today. And I have two uh, baptisms after worship. Um, so that's pretty special today as well. Um, so let's take a deep breath, shall we? Really big breath. If you can, all the way down to your toes. Chances are good that you might have some things to do before Christmas Eve. You might feel a little bit frenzied. Maybe you're feeling perfectly calm. We're gonna take a deep breath and inhale the love of Christ Jesus and exhale to-do lists. Inhale the love of Christ Jesus and exhale the scary news. The love of God is here for us now and always, but it's here for us now. So I'm going to invite, uh, we're gonna light yet another uh, candle for our Advent celebrations. So Ocean and Carolyn, kindred spirits come forward. Ocean is reading today because it's a little bit hard to uh, reach the top of the candles and Carolyn's going to light. <laughs> Ocean, you are mighty. You are mighty. And I'm short. Yes. <laughs> because too many people are wandering in the wilderness. Because too many people are sitting in the valley of the shadow of death. We light candles because people all over the world are suffering and we are too busy to notice we light candles. Today we stop everything and light these candles, one for hope, 
one for peace. <laughs> one for joy. And one for love. May the light from these candles infuse the world. May the light from these candles illuminate the valley of the shadow of death. May the light and the fire from these candles burn away everything that is preventing God's love from being born among us. Friends, do not be afraid. Even now, even now, God's love is saturating the world. Even now, God's love is saturating the world. Christmas says that God comes again and again and again. So please rise in body and or in spirit with joy, draw water. It's our first song. seated. (laughs) 
The kids are going to tell us the, the story of Christmas in their own words and with music. Um, but I couldn't help myself. I wanted to include um, a beautiful song um, that you might know as the Magnificat and the story around it. So we're going to read Luke 1, 39 to 55. Mary is, um, is many things in the Christian tradition, but I also believe that she was a prophet in her own right. And so we're going to hear the echo of her words, which she's also echoing her ancestor, Hannah, and reminding us that, um, of course, Christmas isn't just about lights and presents and all the things that we associate with it. As important as those things might be, family time, friend time, gift giving and gratitude. In the church, we remember Christmas as a time not only to look uh, behind us, but also ahead of us to the things that God is doing in our midst and the ways that we can align ourselves with the kingdom of God, justice and peacemaking, which is the vocation of all Christian people. So you're invited as I read to uh, listen for how God might be speaking to you today. From Luke 1, 39 to 55. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted her cousin Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of a greeting, the child in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. And this is what Mary said. Mary said, my soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For God has looked with favor on the lowliness of God's servant. And surely from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me, and holy is God's name. God's mercy is for those who fear God, who respect God from generation to generation. God has shown strength with God's arm. God has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. God has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. God has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. God has helped the servant Israel in remembrance of God's mercy, according to the promise that God made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. So may we hear in these words, words of hope, words of challenge and promise. Amen. Amen. And I, I hate to say uh, um, that Monty Python phrase, and now for something completely different, but it is going to be a little bit different in tone. But um, the kids have worked hard. Julia has worked hard uh, to put together a Christmas pageant. And because we're still in COVID time, uh, it's not in person. Uh, we're going to watch it on the screen. But I'm going to turn around every once in a while in the sanctuary and see your faces, which are going to be lit up. Um, with smiles. So um, thank you kids for telling this important story and um, and take it away. This year's Christmas pageant is based on Twas the Evening of Christmas, written by Glynis Nellist. With permission 
from HarperCollins Christian Publishing. Twas the evening of Christmas when all through the town, every inn was so crowded, no room could be found. Tired Joseph and Mary, who went door to door, at last found a place on a small stable floor. were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of breadcrumbs danced round in their heads. The cows closed their eyes and the oxen laid down. The doves cooed so gently the lambs made no sound. The moon through the trees was just starting to glow with a glimmer of light on the stable below. When quite by surprise came a newborn babe's cry, that woke all the animals sleeping nearby. <coughs> up jumped the cows and oxen and sheep, up popped the pigeons aroused from their sleep. They all came to gaze at the small baby boy as his mama and papa hugged him with joy. Now donkeys, now cows, now pigeons and sheep, now oxen and mice in the manger did peep. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples so sweet, as they nuzzled his fingers and cute little feet. And out in their fields, taking care of their sheep, some shepherds were just getting ready to sleep. When all of a sudden they had such a fright, as a whole choir of angels lit up the night.
They ran to the stable and peeked through the door and saw something they never imagined before. There on a manger, a baby boy lay, no blankets, no pillows, his bed made of hay. And to that small stable came three splendid kings with gifts for the baby, all beautiful things. They jumped from their camels and knelt at his feet with their frankincense, gold, and myrrh that smelled sweet. the world and love everyone. Then back to their slumbers the animals curled, amazed at this babe who had entered their world. As Mary and Joseph got ready for bed, they snuggled their baby and kissed his sweet head. She tucked him in tight. Merry Christmas, my son, and to all a good night. Thank you for Jesus, amen. amen? Amen. Thank you, kids, that was wonderful. Told so well. It makes me wanna dress up in shepherd's gear. How about you? Well, I'm kind of already there, aren't I? <laughs> That's beautiful, thank you. Well, I'm gonna invite you uh, and thank you to uh, for giving to our community. Um, if you're here in the sanctuary, there's a basket in the back. If you're on Zoom, there's a PayPal link, and we do it many ways besides that, so thank you. And at this time, I'd like to um, 
I'd like to ask for prayers. And I'm just gonna read the ones um, that I've received. If you're on Zoom, you can put your prayer in the chat. Mary says, thank you for the blessings of children. May we all learn from them, amen. Beautiful children. I've got a um, prayer request from Deb for John's recovery from serious illness. Thank you, Deb. From Jane, um, a prayer for all those who are traveling to be with family for Christmas, praying for a safe trip for all. From Nancy, uh, for a dear son-in-law, Peter, who's recovering from heart surgery. Thank you, Nancy. Um, in celebration for Nancy and Jerry and celebrating 58 years of wedded bliss. Thank you very much. Um, praying for an uncle, Denny, who was recently diagnosed with stage three prostate cancer. Thank you. Prayers for Sean, who needs strength and comfort. Thank you. Prayers for, um, from Keith and Candy, prayers for their mothers who are settling into their new homes. Thank you. Uh, prayers from Stephanie and Frank, um, celebrating your 38th anniversary. Is that today? Oh my goodness. Or, okay, well, happy anniversary. Thank you for lifting that up. Prayers for Katie and Bobby, both newly diagnosed with cancer. Thank you. Prayers of strength for all healthcare workers. Prayer for our brother Neil, who starts cancer treatment tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. We're gonna to pray for George Johnson in hospital for heart tests. And from Verna, celebration, perhaps for the life of Emily Melendez and prayers for her family. Thank you. And from Ellen and Bob, a close friend, uh, Peggy, who's in the final stage of ALS. Thank you. Uh, prayers for a family of four who all tested positive for COVID. May they continue to feel stronger each day. Thank you. And a prayer for all those with dementia. Did I miss anything or anyone? There's a lot. Yeah, go ahead, Terry. Thank you. So prayers for Fred and Jen for guidance. Thank you. Yes. Okay, for Kathy, for her, Jackie, for her recovery from emergency surgery. Thank you. Thanks, Sue. Anyone else? Yeah, Julie. Yeah. Prayers for everyone in Kentucky, and can we pray for those, uh, all those affected by the storms last week? Thank you for people who lost lost everything, Karen. Prayers for peace for all those who are lonely at Christmas. Thank you, Karen. Prayers for our church and all the lives that we do impact and could potentially impact. Thank you, Mary. Well, let's take a deep breath, shall we? A lot of people were praying for at this time. We're also praying for all those who donated to the mitten tree. Thanks, Joanne. So we'll inhale the love of Christ and exhale any fear, tension, stress, worry. All this stuff stays in our bodies, in our muscles, fluttery stomachs. So breathe deeply. As we pray, loving God, thank you for being in this space, in this time, in this room, and in the space between us. God, some of us are, maybe all of us are tired, exhausted, stressed, frenzied, scattered, world weary of all the things going on in the world, around us. 
just as some of us are looking forward to seeing family, plans are changing. And yet we're riding another wave of COVID. So God, we ask for your presence to break through our anxious thoughts, our churning stomachs, our fearful hearts, to speak to us and be with us. And as we begin to feel more grounded ourselves, a little bit less fearful, we open our hearts to the needs of others. And we lift up those today who are grieving, could be a recent loss, could be a loss from years ago. The holiday season tends to bring up a lot. So we pray for all those in a season of grief right now. We think of them, their faces, their names, their situations. We surround them with the white light of the Holy Spirit. And we pray, God, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We lift up all those in need of healing, which is probably every human. Also the natural world, 60 degrees in December. We think of names and situations and faces. And we pray God in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we take a moment for gratitude and joy for little angels and shepherds and wise women and men who show us the meaning of Christmas, whose excitement to hear and to tell the Christmas story is new and fresh and joyful. And we think of the other joys that we have drawing water from the dailiness of our lives. And we pray, God, in your mercy, to hear our prayers. We lift up the many needs of the world. Gun violence, COVID, healthcare systems, people with not enough to eat, not enough love, Mm -hmm. And we pray, God, in your mercy, to hear our prayers. And finally, last but not least, God, we lift up our own names for what we want and need this Christmas. We say together, Stephanie. And we pray, God, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And together we say these ancient words said throughout the world today. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Another deep breath, if you would. And as it's still Advent, um, we're singing songs with a slightly minor key which actually I think fits where a lot of us are and where the world is. They're beautiful, they're slightly haunting, and they're some of my favorite music of this season. So if you would rise in body and or in spirit, if you're at home, you can rise in your heart also as we sing Lo, How a Rose Air Blooming. Oh. 
it bright amid the cold of winter when the husband was the say amen amen and with your hands over your hearts perhaps your eyes closed may the love and the blessings of god meet you where you are today may god bless you and keep you may god's face shine upon you and be gracious to you may god look upon you with kindness and love you so much it hurts this day and every day of your precious life. Amen, amen. And now the peace of Christ be with you and also with you. Please remember we're going to either celebrate the peace this way or if you'd like to, you can elbow bump, up to you. Peace of Christ, Zoomers, peace of Christ. And if you're on Zoom, you can go left or right or wave, that's right. Peace of Christ, peace of Christ. Peace of Christ, thank you. <laughs> and now you're also welcome to be seated. We do have a, we have a postlude. <laughs> 